After years and years of searching for the daughter he gave up for adoption, a father's wish has come true. Jack was just 18 years old when he and his then girlfriend found out they were expecting. He said they both wanted to be parents, but knew they couldn't provide for their baby girl. It was the toughest decision I ever made. Shortly after their daughter Maggie was born, they made the decision to give her up for adoption. It was rough. It was rough. But Jack said from the moment he made that decision to give her up, he always knew he would look for her. Even convincing myself that that was the right thing to do, it's like there's going to be a day when you get to, you know, see her again. As the years went on, he kept that same mentality. As, as I got older and as I knew she got older, I'd go places and constantly face search. He said when the internet became more popular, he would try doing online searches. But he said he always fell into dead ends, especially since it was a closed adoption. Then in 2016, he signed up for Ancestry.com. Still, nothing came from it. Well, I did it, and it was almost two years. I'd given up. Then one day, he got the answer he had been looking for. His daughter Maggie had eventually signed up for Ancestry.com herself. Instead of him finding her, she had found him. She had friended me on Facebook. She said she was looking for a parent and we came up as a match on there and I'm, you might be my dad. I felt so full, I felt full. I realized that there were pieces that were missing of me that I didn't even realize were missing. Jack said he had been waiting for this day for more than 30 years. He said it took away one of his biggest fears. That I might die and not ever find out who my daughter was. Scared me to death. In February of this year, Jack would be reunited with his daughter Maggie for the first time in over 30 years. He would meet his grandkids, and for the first time, he would feel complete. I, there's, there's no words for it, really. It's just an intense happiness, and it's like, wow, you just can't explain it. You can find out more about Maggie's journey to finding her birth parents in the article below. Reporting for WKBN's 27 First News Online, Jennifer Rodriguez.